As we expand consciousness, we see on the horizon new concepts that break all the schemes so far established by our belief systems. Quantum physics explains its theory to us based on studies carried out, that all the fundamental forces of matter are unified, and from there arises the theory of the unified field. But today we are not going to enter quantum physics, we are going to focus on the fact, that throughout the history of our civilization, all knowledge beyond that established by the elites has been manipulated and biased to keep us in the established matrix for them, thus keeping us in the most absolute ignorance and ignorance in everything related to the hidden secrets of our planet, the cosmos, and space. As a result of the fall of the Twin Towers on September 11, 2001, the world changed forever. This event had worldwide repercussions, depriving the population of their rights and freedoms, based on the false anti-terrorist law that dragged the, the United States government. To an invasion to countries like Iraq and Afghanistan. The Bush administration and its imperialist government launched a military offensive against these countries under the pretext of holding weapons of mass destruction, which the Bush administration itself ultimately denied, but there were other hidden motives for undertaking this offensive, apart from those we already know as the appropriation of oil. Recent studies of exopolitics, revealed to us totally opposite analyzes on the reasons of the Bush administration to undertake a military offensive with these countries. Exopolix is based on the ET presence on our planet, whose organizations and secret governments have been concealing public knowledge and whose evidence is revealed by senior officials of ex-military and former government officials, thus giving testimony of the ET presence on Earth. The strongest evidence that the Earth was visited by extraterrestrials, comes from the cuneiform Sumerian tablets, these describe stories of the Sumerians interacting with the gods, the Book of Enoch also tells the Nephilims who settled on Earth, according to William Henry, an independent archaeologist there is a direct link between the old Sumerian, Iraq, and the, the United States approach to the Iraq offensive. His thesis is that in Sumerian times, there existed a technological device that he describes as a stargate used by the Anunnakis Nephilims, to enter and leave our planet. Henry focuses on scenes depicted on the tablets in a Uruk ritual text, where divine beings are described traversing an entrance through a ring-shaped object, through which Anu made a grand entrance, guarded by Inki and Enlil. The then President Saddam Hussein was possibly aware of the secrets hidden in Iraq, in his own words he was the reincarnated King Nebuchadnezzar, and of the Stargate. Soldiers sent to Iraq presented a high rate of drug addiction and psychological problems, reaching as it could be read in the Iranian press, collective suicide through the intake of powerful narcotics. The bodies of the, the United States troops were immediately deformed in such a way that they looked like 5,000-year-old mummies according to a witness. Apparently a report circulating in the Kremlin said that more than 20 soldiers of the, the United States Army assigned to safeguard as security troops an ancient city in Iraq, they have committed massive suicide in their attempt to entwine the Stargate with the Hadron Collider. The Stargate of Iraq is possibly now being controlled by the Dark Ones and the USA is trying to control it through war, violence, and the destabilization of countries. The reality is that as the great Isaac Newton said, what we know is a drop of water, what we ignore an ocean.